Hey guys, so today I got some mail from Ryan Rainey. I also think I'm going to record a haul video today. What do you think? Should I do it both in one video or do it separately? I don't know why I'm even asking. Y'all can't respond to me. At least, you know, not while I'm actually making this video. Oh well, uh, but either way, at the very least in this video I'm going to be, uh, opening some of that Ryan Rainey sent me, so, uh, do check out his channel. I'll uh, link it down below, of course. Uh, I have no idea what it was. He just said he had uh, something to send me, so, you know, I emailed him, gave him my address. So, yeah, I got it now, so let's figure it out. Let's see. It was like a fairly small item wrapped in bubble wrap. Ooh, and I do like it. Yeah. Yeah, that's everything in here, but it is the uh, limited edition Donkey Kong pen. This was in their uh, Animal Influence box uh, last year, uh, which was a really good box. I got the uh, King Kong pen, which uh, was the most common pen and probably my first choice of pen, but. Uh, yeah, this one's a really cool one. This one was my second favorite one. I think the other one was a Gorilla Grot or something like that, which would have been cool to get, but not nearly as exciting as the other two, in my opinion. Yeah, really cool to have King Kong. Uh, I do like a lot of those uh, earlier Nintendo games. Uh, I also uh, really liked the... Uh, uh, did I call him King Kong? My bad. Donkey Kong. Uh, probably called him King Kong a few times actually but either way this Donkey Kong also really enjoy a uh, Donkey Kong Country that's a really great game but yeah there's a awesome pen like how it looks 8-bit I also have a 8-bit uh, David Bowie pen which now that I think about it, I'm not entirely sure what's relevant about it being 8-bit but it does look cool but this one you know it being 8-bits obviously more relevant I think it's number two so uh, let me get it out this one's 201 of 250 so that's cool a lot of times when i get these limited edition number pens i always forget to check what the number is i mean honestly it's not that big of a deal to me but it is kind of neat to see but yeah i do really appreciate getting this pen so yeah once again thank you to brian Rainey. make sure you go check out his channel for the sake of making things easier on me i am going to go ahead and show off some more pens that i got recently but that's all I'm going to be showing on this. I am going to be doing a separate haul video for some other things, but I'm just going to take the pens from that video that I was going to show off. So this is another order that I just got in today. I've already opened it up, so you'll get to see all the extras and things like that. But the uh, main item that I got was the... Uh, this is from Proton Pens. They do a lot of uh, Ghostbusters-themed pens, as well as a few others, but mainly Ghostbusters, which is probably my favorite franchise to collect pens from but this is the uh, PKE meter from the real Ghostbusters which is cool. I think she's fixing to do a uh, ghost trap based on the Ghostbusters one of those chain pen sets. It looks really cool so looking forward to that but there's the PKE meter. I think later today actually probably by the time this video has gone up it'll already be released but she's doing like a uh, blacked out variant of it. It's just black and gold that's I think limited to like 50. I got one of the limited edition pens that she did so yeah I'll try to get that one but I do have some plans later today when it gets released so I'm not sure if I'll be able to get on with it but we will see. And uh, the extras actually before I get into the extras this is something that I did order. Uh, got some stickers with that order too. If I can get them out. Yeah, it's just their name tag stickers. These are also available as pens, but I decided to go with stickers. Uh, kind of the reason why is uh, late last year, like, I think it was November, uh, I got a new car. Uh, previously, I drove a uh, green Dodge Ram 1500. It was really easy to identify that because nobody drives those, but now my uh, new car just looks so generic and... There's been a few times I've uh, caught myself 
almost trying to unlock somebody else's vehicle even though that doesn't work with my key but uh it's just super awkward so i want to put some stickers on my car just to make it easier to identify and uh, there's also a ghostbusters 2 trading card of fabulous four and something that i really like when i order pens or you know anything else uh proton pens is very good about doing this is putting in handwritten notes so this just says clayton thank you so much for your support i hope you love your swag rachel so that's really nice and i also have a uh pen that i got from the loot vault the majority of the stuff in the haul video that i'm fixing to record i got from uh the loot vault but uh is there a I think this is released for a Comic Con or something, but it's a uh, Frankenstein pen. This wasn't in any of their boxes, but I got their other monster pens, which I actually really like on this Cthulhu hat. Uh, I try to put a certain theme of pens or a, s a set of pens I think are somewhat relevant to the hat on my hats. Uh, I don't have any Cthulhu pens, so I've decided to make all of these monster pens be the pens for this hat. You know, just kind of works out best so yeah but either way awesome little frankenstein pen and i got another new pen on a I'm just kind of refer to this as jacket two since i got it second uh but uh if I can move everything out of the way uh this one's from uh plug ugly it's uh pennywise from the it remake and he has a uh, moving hair which looks really cool yeah, it kind of surprised me. I'm not a huge horror fan, but it ended up being my favorite movie from last year. So, yeah, really good movie that you should check out if you haven't already. So, yeah, that's just, you know, a small pen haul. Uh, plus, you know, the gift that Brian Rainey sent me, me once again. Huge thank you. Been getting, I've won two giveaways recently, and then I have, uh, well, I've already received or uh, have coming on the way, uh, three different acts of kindness so i guess i just received two of them i got a third that i know of that uh i don't think it's been sent out yet but i know that a uh, person who's sending it uh, is planning on sending it out soonish so you know looking forward to that i feel really spoiled lately but right now i have plans for about two acts of kindness that i'll be sending out uh within the next month or so so yeah uh thank you uh once again so uh, and thank you for watching uh and I will see you around.